Hey there, welcome back to another lesson in the Cypress automation playlist. Now that we have seen how we can use the data test attributes within the get command for Cypress so that our tests are more stable. Now let's see how we can use the get command to get a list of different elements on the page. So for this, we are going to look at the same course page and here we want to verify the different course features, right? So as you can see, there are three features and uh, this seems to be a list of items. Now let's inspect this elements and let's see what these uh, elements contain. Like do they have any data test attributes which we can use or we have to uh, follow some other approach. So uh, let's go ahead and inspect this. And here you will see that this is particularly a list, right? And this contains three items, okay? And here if I collapse this, you will see these are the three different items within this list, okay? But uh, we don't have any particular data test attribute here which uh, we can use, okay? But uh, there is one thing uh, which can be used, okay? And uh, that is the DT element type, okay? So as you can see, uh, each of these different elements is contained inside a DT tag, right? So uh, we can use this tag to get all of these three different elements as a list. And then we can perform some operation or verification on one of these items. Okay, so let's see how we can do this uh, in Cypress. So let's go back here. And now let's write another test which can basically do this. Okay, uh, before that, let's actually uh, put some real description around these tests okay so i'm going to name this describe uh, home page because we are testing the home page okay and then inside our test uh, i'm going to provide a description that the heading contains the correct text okay so this gives us some context to uh, what this test is doing okay and then uh, inside the describe block, uh, we are going to write our second test. Okay, so here um, again, um, I'm going to write it. Okay, and then inside this, we are going to give it a description. So I'm going to say uh, verify the course features. Okay, and then uh, we are going to call the callback function here. Okay, so let's follow that. And inside this, uh, again, we are going to uh, visit the URL. Okay, that's anyways the first step. And then uh, we are going to use cy.get. Okay, inside this, uh, we are going to use the DT element. Okay, or the tag type. So this uh, we are going to write as DT here so that it will get all the elements which have got this particular tag, okay? Now let's go ahead and save this first and let's see what is happening currently in Cypress, okay? So if I go back here and you will see there are two tests. Uh, first is heading uh, contains the correct text and then uh, verify the course features inside this. You can see it has uh, visited the URL and then it has executed this command, the get command. And you can see there is uh, three matched elements here. Okay, so it has found the three elements which are matching this particular tag. Okay, now if you want to look closer at what are these three elements, then you can even start the log here. Okay, so we can look at the console log. So we can go to more tools and then developer tools. And here we will go to the console. Okay, so it is going to log uh, the results into the console. You can see here. Okay, so the command is get, the selector is dt, and uh, the results is the array of three, 
so we have got a array of elements here as you can see right and uh, it contains all the details right but uh, we have got the three elements right here now what if uh, we want to verify something on a particular text right so um, if we want to verify like um, how many lessons this particular course contains right so there are 25 plus lessons and that is what i want to verify okay in this features so uh, what i can do here is i can say cy.get of dt which is the selector and then i can use the method eq okay and then um, i can give a index here okay of the particular element which i want to access from the list so this uh, will access the second element because uh, the index always starts from zero right and then we can use the contains method again okay to verify the text so here um, i'm going to write 25 plus lessons okay so 25 plus lessons so let's go ahead and save this and let's see if we are able to verify this particular text okay so now um, i can go ahead and save and now if i go to cypress the test is still passing right both the tests are passing and here you can see um, it has got the three elements then um, it got the first element out of the list and then uh, it used the contains to verify this particular text okay so everything seems to be working till now now in the same way you can verify uh, all three texts which are present here okay so uh, we can just copy this particular line okay and then uh, we can paste it here three times and uh, then we can just take the first second and third index and then we can just change the text which we want to verify okay so we want to verify the four courses we'll put it here four courses and then uh, free and open source right and that will verify all the different features uh, in this particular course right so if i now save this and if i go back to cypress um, the test is still passing and you can see all three verifications are present here right now uh, what else you can do here in the contains you can also use something called regular expression okay so if you are not sure or if the text is dynamic in nature if you want to verify that you can use uh, something called as regular expression okay for example um, here you can see uh, the courses right the c is uh, uppercase but if you uh, want to make sure that no matter if it is uppercase or lowercase it should still pass right so for that uh, what you can do is you can change this to a regular expression like four courses okay and then slash and then i so this will basically use a regex to verify this particular text even though uh, it is uppercase or lowercase it will um, still verify it correctly okay so uh, if i save this now and as you can see it is still passing okay so instead of the exact text it is currently using the regular expression to verify this okay this is how you can use the get method along with uh, the dt type uh, selector to get a list of different or uh, array of different elements and then from that array you can uh, access each element and then perform some operation or you can perform a verification on that particular element that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.